So this is kind of loser's queue analysis again. So you see, there are three ways you can look at the account, right? There is account win rate, there is champion win rate, and then there is position win rate. So my previous analysis was focusing on position win rate and champion win rate, because I think this is the most important, right? But then if we look, because I'm trying to figure out, is the system balance, is loser's queue actually real or is it fictional, right? So I looked at account win rate. So maybe the system takes two people and looks at the account win rate, right? Then it would maybe make sense. But still, if I look at the win rate, I mean, it's still, this team 160% probability of winning. Do you know what I mean? So you cannot say that, oh, this is balanced. Do you know what I mean? 160% probability of winning, almost twice. Right? So you cannot say that this is balanced. So loser's queue, 100% real. 100%. Because you can check. Do you know what I mean? You can just check. Just go here. Look. Let's let's take, for example, ADC versus ADC. Right? We'll click on ranked. So this is my opponent, right? This guy's a smurf, right? 75% probability of winning. 88 on Kaisa, 79 on the position. So 75 account, 88 champion, 79 position, right? Even if you look at the games played, nine games played, right? And look at my ADC, right? Let's update ranked. <laughs> Zero on the account, zero on the champion. In fact, he never even played this champion. And zero on the position. Can you imagine we go, we, we set up a, a game one on one and put this guy versus this guy and tell you, hey, this is balanced. This is not loser's queue. I don't know about you, but I would put all my money on this guy, right? 100%. Okay, take care.